item that I just forgot. Oh shit. Okay. What? Let's go back. What RuPaul's Drag Race contestant was arrested? And uh, come, wait, wait, bitch. Turn it. No, bitch. Turn it. Let, let me tell you the full fucking story, bitch. You don't even know who it is. Was arrested. Called Bianca Del Rio to Trinity. bail her out of jail. Wait, you don't know the full story, bitch. Bail her out of jail, and then the next week was in a pageant with all new gowns because Bianca gave her bail money. Wait, it gets better. Then this year she calls Bianca and she says, "I need money for medication." And Bianca said, "Well, what's the pharmacy? I'll just give them my credit card directly." And the girl said, "Never mind, I'm okay." Shady, shady. Can't tell you. Her name rhymes with Smorky Smack. No, no, it's not. It's not. It does. So, do, you have, do you have a drag queen blind item? Maybe one about a Philly uh, queen? Oh, a, oh, I do have a good one about a Philly queen. About a local queen. This local Philadelphia queen booked an out-of-town gig with several of her friends. But the turnout... The turnout was so bad that the bar out of town had to pay the queen's booking fees out of the cancer fund for a local celebrity who just died who was it you'll never know it's not meeting eye first it was not it was not but that was really fucking good all right and that's totally true let's see on our season we weren't allowed to have any gay production assistants at the hotel at all because a certain queen from season 7 slept at one of them late at night so all gay people were banned at the hotel I wanted a hooch Okay, and also the same person called up a gig because she just didn't feel like doing it and then she was seen at the restaurant next door to the gig eating dinner I'm not saying who. Alright. I wanna know who you tell me later. Alright, I got, I got a good one. What RuPaul's Drag Race contestant one night in her hotel room accidentally knocked over a bottle of nail polish remover, went to go wipe it up, and accidentally removed part of the varnish on the table. And when she was eliminated because she didn't want to get in trouble, she brought an entire gallon of nail polish remover and refinished the entire table to be clear pine so it looked beautiful and fresh and untouched and got away with it. Meet me on first, bitch. Vanilla was in my room, I knocked it over, and she's like, wipe it up, I wiped it up. And then it, it, it cleared the table, it was like Ikea fresh. And then like when I got eliminated, I was like, oh, fuck, I'm in trouble. So I had to like, I took a face cloth with a bottle of nail polish remover and I refinished the entire fucking thing. Like a fucking lesbian watching the fucking Home Improvement Network. Just saying that fucking shit down, bitch. Cause I was broke, bitch. I, I needed, I didn't want, I gotta get uh, like, you know, the hotel fee, bitch. And I got away with it, bitch. Thank you. I got another one. Okay, here's another one. One drag queen from our season, while working with another queen from season two, she stole all of her jewelry and brought it on the show and was bragging about it. Not saying anything. I have a good one. Wait, then this will be the last one. I have one too. Okay, go, 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 go. This isn't about a drag queen, but do we have anyone here in the audience that plays Stonewall Sports? Anyways, I know this is a drag crowd. Uh, one of the more popular Stonewall boys who's out and about at all of these events normally, I don't know if he's here or not, but I've heard that he has left stains on not one, not two, but six different tricks sheets and now has a reputation and is called in certain of circles, apparently, skin marks. Oh. Skin marks. Hygiene is important, kids. Hygiene is important. All right, last one. What RuPaul's Drag Race contestant, when she was eliminated, the producers 
asked her to leave behind clothes for the queen who ended up winning because they knew she didn't have enough clothes with her to get all the way through the episode. Can't tell you. Anyways, that was drag queen gossip, blind item, shady, shady bullshit. So we do it every Wednesday. I think I got one more. Oh, you yeah, won't well, go for it. Oh, one queen from our season banned production from ordering pizza for meals because it gave her a raging diarrhea. So we were not allowed to eat pizza for the rest of the season. And she's been eating stains on sheets ever since. I can't wait to find out who. And she <laughs> plays kickball. Anyways, we're gonna take a quick break so that we can get more drunk and uh, and change our outfits. And do you guys want more show? More efforts? 